Hello, welcome to India Edu Tutorials. In our previous class, we have discussed the basic concepts of interest and further concepts of simple interest and compound interest. Today, we would be telling you how to solve examples of simple interest. Our first example is find the following where in the first case P is 100, R is 3% per annum, time is 2 years and we have to find out the amount. As we know that amount is equal to principal plus simple interest. Our principal is given over here but simple interest is not given so we need to find out the value of simple interest. So in the first question our simple interest would be applying the formula which is P into rate into time divided by 100 which gives us P is 100 into R which is 3 into time which is 2 years. Just notice that rate is also given as per annum so time should be in uh, compatible to this. So it becomes 100 into 3 into 2 divide by 100 cancel 100 from 100 which gives us 6. Now amount is equal to principal plus SI principal is rupees 100 over here and SI we just calculated is 6 which gives us amount as 106 rupees. Now let's do another example. Second part of this example is it's same. The value of P R T is given and we need to calculate amount. So again amount is equal to principal plus simple interest. Simple interest is equal to P R T divided by 100. Here the value of P is 500 into R which is 6% per annum and time. Look the time is given into months so we need to convert this into year. To convert this time into year simply divide this months by 12 upon 100. As a result you will get 500 into 6 into 4 upon 100 into 12 because this 12 is in denominator. Cancel two zeros from the two zeros. Four into three gives you twelve. Three into two gives six. And five into two is ten. So our SI is ten over here. Our final amount is principal plus SI. Principal is five hundred, which gives us five hundred plus ten. Is five hundred ten is answer. Now let's check out the third part. Here, in the third part. Again, amount is to be find out which is principal plus simple interest. So find out the simple interest which is P R T divided by 100. Now P is 400. Rate 3.65 percent per annum. That is 3.65. And time. Time is given in terms of days. So to convert it into year, we would divide it by 365. We are dividing it by 365 because there are 365 days in a year. Now divide it by 100 which gives you 400 into 3.65 into 150 upon 100 into 365. So cancel these zeros and remove this point. Cancel 365 from 365 remove 10 from this. 4 into 15 is 60 upon 10 which gives 6 as the answer. So our amount would be principal plus simple interest that is 400 plus 6. So our amount is 406. Now let's do the fourth part. In the fourth part here amount is given, simple interest is given rate is given and we need to calculate time. So to calculate time we must be knowing the principal and principal can be calculated by using amount and simple interest because amount is equal to principal plus simple interest. Amount minus simple interest is equal to principal. So amount here is 540 minus simple interest which is 108 which gives us principal. This will give us 300 and 
332 is the answer. Now our principal is 332 and we need to find out the time. So using simple interest formula which is PRT upon 100 simple interest is 540 equals to sorry it's not simple interest the value of simple interest here is 108 principal we just calculated is 332 sorry it would be 432 so it is 432 into r is 5% into t we need to calculate upon 100 now 108 into 100 upon 432 into 5 is equal to time 108 into 4 gives 432 this will give us 100 divided by 4 into 5 20 that is 20 divided by 100 is 5 so our time is 5 years as the answer now let's check out another example our next example is a sum of money lent out at simple interest amounts to rupees 720 after two years and to rupees 1020 after a further period of five years. Find sum and the rate. Now, in this type of questions, what we need to do is we need to compare two types of equation. For this, we can have use we can use this formula which is a1 minus p1 upon a2 minus p2 equal to p1 into r1 into t1 upon p2 into r2 upon t2 this formula is nothing it's just a ratio of two equations where dif where we are comparing two different simple interests we know that simple interest is equal to prt upon 100 and this can also be calculated as amount minus principal which is prt upon 100 so in this formula we have just used the two different types of formulas now here in this question we need to find out a sum and the rate percent using these two equations so we know that here principal, our principal and the rate are same because same sum of money is being lended at the same rate of interest. So what would be the formula? It would be A1 minus P upon A2 minus P because P1 and P2 are same which is equal to P into R into T1 upon P into R into T2 because here our P and R are same this cancels a1 is equal to 720 that is 720 minus p upon a2 is 1020 1020 minus p which is equal to t1 minus t2 t1 is 2 years upon t2 is 5 years now do the cross multiplication we will get 5 into 720 minus p is equal to 2 into 1020 minus p which will give you 5 into 720 minus 5p is equal to 2 into 1020 minus 2p this will be 5 into 720 minus 2 into 1020 is equal to 5p minus 2p this will be 5 into 720 2 into 1020 is equal to 3p once you solve this the value of p will be equal to 520 so uh, the value of sum in this question is 520 now we need to find out the rate percentage also which can be calculated using the simple formula we know our p here is 520 now from any of these two equations, we can find out the value of R. Now, let's use our first equation, which is simple interest is equal to PRT upon 100. Say, it's P and R are same. Say, it's T1 divided by 100. Now, simple interest would be A minus P into PRT 
given upon 100. A in first case is 720. P we just find out which is 520 equal to P which is again 520 into R we need to find out time in the first case is 2 years upon 100. Cancel 0 from 0 2 divided by 5. Here we get 200 into 5 is equal to 52 R or say 200 into 5 divided by 52 is equal to R. After solving this you will get 19.23 percentage that is the value of R. I hope you have understood these examples. For more tutorials you can log into indiaedu.com.